Hey everyone, here's the review of the Eyeball Slide, the 7 inch touchscreen tablet from Eyeball. It's an Android tab uh, tablet coming with the gingerbread Android 2.3 operating system and the 7 inch capacitor touchscreen with the front upper cam which comes in the landscape mode and not the usual mode. And uh, the front side has a single eye button, that's a menu key actually, and the home key which you can call it. And on the bottom part, there's a micro SD slot. The HDMI port slot and a connector for USB. There are two connectors for USB, one of which can be used for uh, connecting the uh, various uh, uh, internet connection uh, devices, the USB ports. Um, that's because of the fact that uh, this tablet doesn't have a SIM slot. So if you don't have a SIM card and if you have a, a USB um, connection, you can use that to connect to the internet or else there's a Wi-Fi option. And here's the on and off key and the 3.5mm uh, headset jack this is the charger point we don't actually understand why they gave the on and off key because there is a power button on the side here so you can use the same for uh, switching it uh, switching the device on and off so uh, there is actually no need of the key here but they gave it so here is how you use it switch it on and then press the power key which will make the device start up The device makes you wait for uh, quite some time before it starts up. It says get ready to enjoy the ride. While it gets started, we can see the thickness in the back portion of the device. The logo, the slide stickers, there are a few stickers that have come into the pack which you can use. Here's speaker in the bottom. So here's the welcome home screen. This actually works pretty good in the landscape mode. And the camera can be used only in the landscape mode. You can't uh, force it and uh, use it on the usual standing mode. The capacitor touchscreen is pretty good, responsive. And there are multiple home screens as in the other tablet devices. You can see total of uh, 4 home screens as of now and uh, the round buttons here they can show you home, uh, which home screen you are on and how many home screens on the other side are left to open clicking here can show if you have used any recent applications and there is a negative factor here because if you are a first time user and you didn't use uh, the eyeball slide earlier you would be searching for the menu and back key which are actually given beside the power key here so this is the back key and this will be the menu key. Clicking on the back key would, menu key would give the menu options and this is the back key. Both are on the right, right side top. This is the notification panel. And uh, here is the menu. The menu is pretty good. The interface is pretty good with uh, the menu options uh, flowing up and down. They are not in the multiple app pages just like other Android tablets and uh, the Android phones. You can check out the version of Android in this. It's Android 2.3.1 version. There would be an update coming up soon for this. Eyeball Slide i7011 is the device. So if at all you are not using the back key on the top, you can use the back click cable button on the notification panel and uh, one of the other negative factors is there is no camera on the back side so if at all you want to click any pictures you have to use your phone or, or else you can use the front camera but you can't use it on, to, the, to click the pictures on the uh, other side of you and uh, one more thing is that the notification panel has only the section for notifications and you can't change the options like any other android device like if you check one of the galaxy phones from samsung this is how the samsung galaxy phones come and uh, usually all the android phones come with the wi-fi download um, bluetooth gps and uh, sound vibration of the profile and the auto, auto, auto rotation option 
in the notification panel there is nothing like that in the eyeball slide so if at all you want to make any changes in the settings you have to go to the settings section and make the changes there go to home go to settings and we can connect to the Wi-Fi one more good factor of this is that the slide comes with a 4400 mAh battery which gives a good lifetime good battery life and uh, it comes for around 4 to 6 hours once you are connected to the internet you can check the browser it's the default Android browser the touch response is uh, really good I can say it's unexpectedly good so for a tablet of this kind the touch, point, touch response is good you check the video quality that's not bad, um, bad for a QEG screen it's not an HD screen but still it's a pretty good video quality and the picture quality is also good eyeball has integrated a pretty good screen in this you can't change the volume from here the volume keys are on the menu just above the tray icons So this is the video quality, hit menu and you would reach the home page. This is a task killer, you touch on the app and it would kill all the running tasks, the running apps so that the performance becomes faster. This is one of the apps, this is a game app, it's actually Full, fully loaded with the graphics you can look at the quality the quality is pretty good You can check out the quality, the touch response. For these kind of games, you can check out the touch response too. Because the game ne needs the live movements, the capacity of touch screen here is pretty good for that. If at all you have exited the app uh, without hitting the exit option, you can come here and uh, hit on this so that all the tasks are killed you can check out the picture quality this is the zooming with this you can see how good the touch response is just pinching it and out there is only one method of input that is the android keyboard there is no swipe option So one of the negative factors is the absence of the sim card slot so if at all there is no Wi-Fi you can't connect to the internet unless you are connecting it through the uh, USB device through the USB mini USB port connection from here 
and that certainly would eat a lot of battery life because the USB 2 uh, eats up the battery and we actually tried to check up uh, the response if at all we are using the S Pen of Samsung with the Galaxy Note it doesn't respond to the S Pen of Galaxy Note that means the S Pen that comes with the Note is uh, exclusively for the Note and uh, for not for the other devices and for the eyeball slide you just need the normal touch from the fingers for the response we'll be coming up soon with the other videos where you can we can show you the performance of the battery and uh, the other reviews of the eyeball slide thank you